Hey guys, what's up? It's me, MJ Fangirl, and in this video, we are going to be doing a story time. And today, I'm going to be telling you the story of when I met Latoya Jackson. Stay tuned, it's a great story. You don't want to miss it. You're now watching MJ Fangirl TV. So if you have not seen my face before, my name is MJ Fangirl and I make videos for and about the Michael Jackson fan community. I do event vlogs, travel videos, merch reviews, unboxings, and reaction videos. So you don't want to miss it. We talk Michael Jackson, the Jackson 5, the Jackson family. But make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that YouTube lets you know every time I upload a new video. I met Latoya Jackson on June 22nd of 2011. And why do I remember that? really really obscure fact because she signed my poster that I brought to her. I'm gonna be telling you guys how all this came to be um, but first check this out. So you might remember that right after Michael Jackson died there was an influx of activity from the Jackson family in the media. They were talking a lot about the memories of their brothers especially the siblings really you guys. Um, and there were books that came out, tours that happened. Latoya came out with her book in 2011. It was called Starting Over. It discussed uh, a lot about her life, mostly about her life, but also a lot of talking about her relationship with her brother Michael. And I loved the book. And when I heard that she was writing a book, I was like, okay, no matter what, I gotta make sure that I go and get the book. What I didn't know is that she was gonna be having multiple signings around the nation and one of them was gonna be in New York City. All right, so Latoya came to New York City and I found out with, I don't know how we found this out, I think it might have been either on Facebook or some other way, but Latoya Jackson was having an exclusive party at a rooftop hotel in New York City and um, it was invite only, but your girl was there. Check out this photo of my friend and I standing at the red carpet for the event. Uh, and yeah, we weren't invited at all, but we went to the hotel and we were like, we're gonna meet Latoya Jackson. And I just was so excited because at that time, like I said, my blood passed away. I was so, so devastated, so, so sad. I'd never met any of the Jacksons. A lot of my friends already had met some of the Jacksons. So I was kind of like behind of the times, you guys. I was one of the last ones in the pack to ever meet a Jackson. So me and my girl, we go to this hotel and we're in the elevator just trying to be all inconspicuous. Like, oh yeah, the penthouse. Oh yeah, no, no, we're getting off at the penthouse, thanks. And we go all the way upstairs and we get into the penthouse. I don't know how we did it, y'all. I really don't know how we did it, and I don't even remember the exact details, but we did something very sneaky. Um, it had to do with sneaking a little bit in between some barricades, but we got in and we got a chance to say hi to Latoya. It was so fun. There were a lot of her friends there. Um, she was there kind of just sitting down, chilling in the cut, but we got a chance to just be like, hey Latoya, and so I think this helped me out a lot two or three days later when I went to the book signing and I finally met her. You guys won't believe this. This is in 2011 and this is 2020. Shows you how long I've been down with the Michael Jackson community here in uh, New York City because guess who captured some footage of me at this event? It was at a local Barnes and Noble. None other than my girl, Gadget Trish. Check out this clip. I had to stand right here so she's kind of in the background. Uh -huh. Like here? Yeah. Like this or for, to the left? It's, it's here. Is yes. this your first Jackson? Yes, it is. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Do you have a favorite LaToya song or anything? The Heart Don't Lie. Nice. That's my favorite song. Yay! All right. I'm so excited. She's wait, wait, is beautiful. She, if she goes in the background. <laughs> ah, can't wait! All right, you guys, so as you can see, I was super excited to be there in the room with one of the Jackson family members. And in my mind, when I was online, like I think a lot of people do this, but I had rehearsed in my head two or three lines that I was gonna say ahead of time to LaToya. I was gonna say, thank you so much, your family's meant so much to me, or the Jacksons have inspired me in so many ways, which they have. Um, and you guys, LaToya, even though I'm, you know, I'm MJ Fangirl, I have a channel all about Michael Jackson, but one of the things about me is that I was a Jackson family fan 
first. So I grew up loving the Jackson 5, watching like the Jackson's variety show, um, and just really, really loving the family unit and seeing all of the brothers and sisters really together. So this was like a full circle moment for me. And I just had it in my mind that I was gonna say these things to her because I didn't wanna sound stupid when I got up there and I didn't wanna be like starstruck. But um, one of my friends got up there before me. It was a bunch of us that we, we knew each other. And I remember she was just bawling and crying and just, you know, expressing her sadness about about Michael and, and everything, which I, I totally get, but I was like, you know, I want to make sure that I get up there and I say something that Latoya's going to remember. And you guys, when I got to the front of the line, first of all, I froze. Like, I literally froze. I got up to the front of Latoya and when she looked at me in the eyes, I was literally like, I was shook. I could not say anything. I froze for like 10 seconds. And 10 seconds is a very long time to be frozen in front of someone. So I got up to Latoya and I said, hi. And then literally right after that, she said, you're beautiful. What's your name? And y'all, I was like, um, 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 my, 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 my name. Uh, and I told her my name. And she was like, that's a beautiful name. And I was just like, uh, it, Th thank you. Like, I didn't know how to respond to that, you know? It kind of like threw me off. And it was so funny because, like I didn't mention earlier, so I didn't tell you guys this. We kind of snuck into that hotel party, right? We kind of got to the top of the penthouse and snuck our way through the barricades just to give Latoya hello. What I didn't tell you guys is that um, one of those posters that they had advertising the Starting Over book, I might have taken one of those home with me and <laughs> I had it in my room and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna bring my poster to this book signing. And one of the things that Barnes & Noble, if you've ever been to a book signing at Barnes & Noble, they always tell you the artist or the author is not gonna sign anything besides the book. So you can't just come up there with your heart, don't lie, single and ask Latoya to sign it because she's not gonna do it. Or so I thought. So I got up there and uh, she signed my book and it was very kind. She writes down, you know, she wrote down my full name and everything in the book, signed it. And then I was like, Latoya, can you please sign my poster? And the handler lady was like, no, no, you can't. Only books, only books. And Latoya was like, she looked at me and we locked eyes and she was like, give to me. And then she, she went and she signed it and it was so, so sweet. Here's a picture of it, you guys. Here's a picture of all of us with our books and me, the only one that got something else signed besides the book. One of the most amazing things, you guys, about LaToya and about all the Jacksons, because I have also met Jermaine Jackson and Joseph Jackson, is that they're so nice. Like, when you meet them, they're very nice, very humble, very, like, just like personable, relatable, like you don't feel like you're meeting like the celebrity that's so out of touch. Like they look at you in the eyes and it's so interesting because I think that when LaToya locked eyes with me, we made eye contact, I was just like, oh my gosh, a Jackson is looking at me in the eyes. Like what's happening right now? Like I was taken into another universe. Like I literally was frozen, but it was such a great experience. Um, I really am so grateful to her for kind of going against the rules there and signing my poster. Um, because, like I said, it was just one of those things that was up there during her press event, um, you know, her event book kickoff um, party, and they were just going to throw it out at the end of the night, you know what I mean? Laying at the side of the hotel on the floor when it's taken off the easel, and I was just like, this is not going to go to waste, and it just like, it meant so much to be able to then take that to the event and then have her sign that as well, so really really awesome um she was so sweet you guys and i've not gotten a chance to meet any other of the jacksons like and have like really like one-on-one -on -one conversation or anything but i just wanted to share that with you guys because a lot of times people always think like what would it be like to to meet a celebrity and like since then i've met a couple other people i've met mike tyson and i know that when a lot of people meet celebrities they have like all these things running through their minds. How's it gonna be? What should I say? And like, I just feel like it's really important to always bring that personal touch because celebrities are human too, you know? And um, I did get a chance at the end of our, our interaction to say, yeah, your family's meant so much to me and like all of you, really, you've been an inspiration to me and thank you for being such great role models. And she thanked me and moved on. But it was just something that's always gonna be in my mind and in my heart forever. 
Um, she's the first family member that I met and um, hopefully I'll meet some more in the future but yeah I just wanted to tell you guys that story because you guys always ask me if I've ever met a Jackson. Yes I met a Jackson. I had an interaction with her and told her how much the Jackson family meant to me. So, thank you guys so much for listening to this story time. If you've met any of the Jackson family members, comment down below. We've never talked about this on this channel. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Let me know what you guys think about this story time. If you want to hear what it was like to meet Jermaine or any other like story times from me. If you have any other um, ideas, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.